this was the aspiration and desire client had that if you give me wada this will be a continuation of tradition I'm Saurabh from Artha Studio. We are located in Pune, but originally I belong to this town called Sangamner. Today we are at Nuva Wada. Uh, Nuva Wada was named because client wanted a wada, which is a traditional Maharashtrian typology for his fa uh, growing family. When we met first time, and the, when we heard his requirement, then I said, "Why can't we make a wada which is for the contemporary time?" This was one of the first project where client said, "You choose the land, we can build." So that's how the two courtyard concept started. That first courtyard will be, will be public, while the other will be family court. This is a site. This is a road which is accessible, village road. I mean, this is the property entry where one of the security cabin is installed, so which takes care of the whole property whoever is entering. And then for the house, there is another security cabin. So this is the entry of the house, which is towards east. This is north. North has old structure of their existing house and. from the existing house the family grew and they wanted another house this part they had their whole dairy which was production as well as the administration office so we decided to take the most end part of their court which is then there is adjacent farms we decided to do that one enters from the east where this part which is a commercial part which in future if road gets widening can go and uh, it is made in temporary structure here we have a caretaker apartment and from caretaker can come from here to from the back entry to the house while the person who is coming he can come and this is the entry so drop off point happens here and we introduce the canopy and otherwise car parking goes back side and one hardly sees the car this is the main house so main house was stuck towards the southwest part of the whole property as per the bylaws we were building way less so fsi was not the issue front side whole thing was made the garden which was designed by shared ground and there is another after breaking this this was another add on garden we did for the add on requirements of the clients here we have a vegetable garden fragrance garden courts and the entry from the backyard there is a orchards and herbs there is a other cut off trees and there is a shamiana which is for the morning breakfast when client came to make the house for a joint family initial idea was he asked for a wada wada is a, a traditional maharashtrian house which has a big courtyard and the spaces are surrounding to it we studied parallelly and visited lot of courtyards with client and that time initial idea was to make a gadi gadi has bastions as well as big regions physical presence in the landscape then we made few other ideas where it was only had single year courtyard and everything was around the court while going ahead we thought about making two courtyards so as the process went ahead we came up with the wadas with two courtyards with a traditional grid which a marathi called khan khan varies from 4 ft to 5 ft and also in between has a column grid so we use that as a 
starting point and use the grid of 1.2 and 0.3, 0.23 for the internal grid, while the external wall are one and a half brick thick, which is 0.35. Once one enters from the north, one comes into the foyer area. He is greeted by the caretaker. So this part is a semi-private, which actually is this much, which is mainly for a public. And here we had the courtyard, which takes the natural light. So this area is lit up. So office is very for a formal works of day to day and meeting the people from the work as well as from the community. This is we call Diwane Aam. And here we have a Diwane Khas. It is 14 sitting plus it also turns into a projector AV room in the night. As we come from a court, uh, foyer, we arrive in a first courtyard. First courtyard is very semi-public. It's from public area to it comes into semi-public. This courtyard has a very very less number of trees. One is Parijat and another is Son Safa. This was also a choice which clients said when we come, the first aroma should be come to uh, us of these trees. When you come to the next court, one side again we have a niche of the veranda which is for sitting and then movement around the court. Here we have a staircase which takes you up while there are two, three functions. The one of the function here is a family sit out which is very informal and this allows you one to enter into the temple and meditation room. After this, there is a royal dining which is next to the kitchen and this is the kitchen which has small store, back entry and big utility with washing machine and other requirements. This was head of the house mother's room which again had a change room and toilet. This area also has two toilets and duct. So if we see the main plan, the external wall, which has a slit window, is very thick wall and gets a lot of insulation from external climate. Once we are upper level, where staircase takes a, you from here, then you have a choice to take up and then go towards the terrace. There are two again informal sit out for the family at upper level and then there is a more intimate sit out which is a protruding balcony this is a protruding balcony which we named as a shatranj ki balcony it also takes the historical clues from padmanabha puram palace where one can see from private space into semi-private, which is a public space in the first courtyard, but nobody can see from first courtyard into our space. This has worked on a lot of permutation combination. And I think after, when we are designing, after one and a half years of different, different solutions, we finalized on this solution, where on a uh, GI strip uh, grills, we have fixed and bolted copper strips, which allows uh, which tapers and also allows one to see what is happening at lower level but while one can play chase with somebody else. Next to Protodium Balcony there is a guest room, double volume dining room which you hardly see from a first floor. On southeast corner there is an elder son's room which had its change room and the toilet. The master bedroom has again its change room and its toilet. And the younger son's room, which is the same size of elder son and the father, and again change room and the toilet. And this is a first floor terrace, which also works in the morning time as a walking pathway. For the Vada, we 
thought about using a brick as a material. We have used two types of brick. At the entry, we had a stone brick as well as we had a normal brick. So normal brick was made to the specification for the house, which had a minimum silicate. So the color is uniform. So if one sees uh, one of the cross sections here, which is cutting through the meditation room, through a uh, pythax and where we had a cosmos. So in this case, when one enters here, he is greeted with a double volume and then has a visual connection towards the uh, one another sun which we created for the meditation room and also towards the staircase block. So staircase block is uh, here the water tank which is uh, enclosed inside the section and on top of the roof where the, all the livable spaces are there we use the matka bat concrete which are actually uh, we created 21,000 earthen pots on the top of the slab we inverted them and instead of brick bat we use a brick, matka bat which also insulates above that we also added a pebbles so that first pebbles gets heated. If they get heated, then the roof, then the matka, and then the main slab. So this lot of insulation, so that also helps and also works in sync with the thick walls of the house, which are external. Working out the climate, the materiality, we always went for the material, which is largely available close to the Pusangamne. So stone, which is basalt, we have a basalt quarries around. We have the local brick clean, which is comes from the very close by. And other material, which is MS and GI, which was available in the town. So this with the only material palette, only thing, the amount of copper we needed for the house, which we had to procure from uh, I think mainly from Pune because from the wholesale market, rest everything was from the local place. Here, other thing which we integrated strongly were the craftsmen. We had a local craftsman. Idea was very conscious so that we boost the economy of local people, so that money stays in the town and people get benefited from such kind of projects because we rarely made such big house where we had here we made because of it's a joint family. But normally when you make such kind of big house, the economy generation, so maximum woodwork was done by Thakaram, who was locally lived in Sangamne. The other tile work was done from the local contractor. The brick person came from Ahmednagar. So most of the work, and this was a very consciously, if it is not possible, we are not going to do. Though copper came from Pune, the craftsmen were very local. In terms of understanding about the climate, about the management, about the maternity, it was very interesting to how we work with local people and how maximize their aspirations in terms of their economy, in terms of their craftsmanship, how we respect that and we take give and take was one of the best things happened in the project.